It started out as a very innocent group of hippies. He's like, I know this woman. She's incredible. She just knows how to, like, change your life. You showing up with your dream in your hand and someone deciding that they'd like to take advantage of that. You do not go against the man of God. I'm like, okay. You're my master and we're slave. When one of us would misbehave, it was the horse whip. There was a rule that we could only use three pieces of toilet paper. They encouraged all the kids to lay down and touch each other. I felt like I was losing my mind. Financially, it was like she was just depleting me. And the more I found out, it's like, this religion is not what it claims to be. I just wanted to be out of there. My eyes were open and there was no turning back. I knew, oh my God, I grew up in a cult. I grew up I'm in a cult. I'm in a cult. Oh my God, this is a cult. I am in a cult. Was I in a cult is not your typical cult show. But it is a cult show. Yes, Tyler, of course it is, because everybody loves cults. Much like my acid washed your bows, they just never go out of style. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I'm Tyler Meesom. My fashionable co-host. And I'm Liz Iacuzzi. And I, too, never go out of style. Did you know there are thousands of cults in America alone? There's your typical religious cults, but there are also self-help cults. Political cults. Terrorist cults. Sex cults. Exercise cults. Multi-level marketing cults. Satanic cults. Organic juice cleansing cults. Yeah, maybe. Okay, sure. In LA, for sure. <laughs> but do people ever really stop to think, how do right-minded people end up in environments like that? Nobody joins a cult, not on purpose. You join a movement, something you think is going to make the world better and make you a better person. Was I in a Cult is a documentary podcast that gives remarkable, first-hand, inside stories of what it's like to be in a cult. I literally went to bed every night bracing myself for an invasion and to be killed, basically. Because the truth is, anyone is susceptible to falling into a cultic environment. There were attractive women who were certainly used to go out and bring the guys into the class. Of course, we will give you these salacious stories of cult leaders because they're usually maniacal, malignant, narcissistic sociopaths coupled with childhood sexual trauma and severe abandonment and daddy issues. And who doesn't love that? He wrote a book called The Autobiography of a World Savior. <laughs> uh, he was talking about himself. But it's not only about living in a cult. It's about getting out and rebuilding your life. The bravest part of the whole experience. I've discovered that I'm an intelligent, capable person and that life is more joyful now than it ever has been. The truth is, cults are never what they seem. Everyone would kiss him on the lips, even the guys. I didn't know if like, okay, this is like some hippie thing. Because what you sign up for is not what you get. And we should know, because... Well, because we were in one. Perhaps you too will be asking yourself, wait, was I in a cult? When you grow up in something that is so dark, it feels like a betrayal of everything you know to move towards the light. Listen to Was I in a Cult? Every Wednesday on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts, which in Tyler's case is at Rite Aid. <laughs> on tape.